Hey there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina. I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing as well as reacting to singers on YouTube. And every year I cover Eurovision. So as you will know, last night was the first semi-final. And in the UK, we got to see it on BBC Three with Rylan and Scott Mills. Rylan was wearing a very revealing outfit cut down the front. Uh, and Scott Mills just looked uncomfortable, like he didn't really want to be there. Just felt a bit like that. But their comments were better last night. Last year, the coverage from the BBC uh, was pretty poor, if I'm honest. Making fun, not really embracing Eurovision. But this year seems to be okay so far. Right, so the shock non-qualifiers last night i'm going to go through the full thing just so you know i'm going to do a little sort of recap of all of the performances and give you my opinion but before we even start the absolute shock non-qualifiers of albania the diva albania didn't qualify now this is a weird one i mean the vocals weren't incredible but i the, some of the stuff that qualified in place of Albania, it's, I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Also, Austria was another one who I actually thought would qualify because even though her feet, like live vocals weren't that strong, the song itself, the Halo, it was a really good song. It was a proper bop. I don't quite understand why that didn't get through. I would quite happily trade Albania and Austria for Armenia and Moldova. Take them out and put Albania and Austria in. It was a it was an interesting one last night. The other non qualifiers that didn't really surprise me, Latvia, eat your salad. Yeah. A lot of people thought, do you know what? I don't think we want a song that smutty in the final. Do you know what I'm saying? It's fun, I get it. But this is the BBC and they were like, no, we're not having that on a Saturday night for the whole world to see. <laughs> Slovenia LPS Disco. It was OK, but the performance was like a high school band, which they are. That's cool. You know, I just don't think they were polished enough to carry off. Uh, Croatia, uh, Guilty Pleasure. It's an OK song, but I kind of understand why that didn't qualify. Denmark. Yeah, I get that as well. And Bulgaria, absolutely yes. Totally get why that didn't qualify. Right, so let's have a look at the recap and I'll do it so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a recap from the second semi final on Thursday as well. So, again, you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. You just get my feedback on it. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so Albania, yeah, one of the shock non-qualifiers. I don't get it. I thought it was okay. That vocal there was a bit ropey, that top note. I did say in the rehearsals, I do hope she figures that out for the actual final, but no, it didn't come off. It is unfortunate. Um, the performance itself was okay. The song was a little bit, like chopped up though and I said this right at the beginning I think they were focusing more on this kind of dance breaks than the actual song itself and I think maybe the jury picked up on that I don't know but overall the performance was okay and I didn't expect it to not qualify <laughs> kind of see why this one didn't qualify it's like a tongue-in-cheek if you can call it that oh my god um kind of song about sex and not actually about eating greens um and the audience was singing all of the rude words which didn't help which probably also freaked the juries out and they were like we can't have this in the final we just can't so i think that's why you know some people are a bit prudish you know and they're like well should we really have this on a saturday night Eh, I kind of get it. Good 
gorgeous song, Lithuania, well deserved to qualify this one. The performance was very good. I felt that it had this laid back kind of approach. She looked stunning. The vocals themselves were pretty good. If I had to sort of draw on vocals that weren't great last night, there was a moment in Armenia where it was like, what was that No, Also Halo, which was Austria and Albania. I think their vocals were a little bit bad not as strong as everyone else. They and rivers they run dry. Now this one surprised me because I think it's quite a snoozy kind of song. It does feel very much like an advert. I've said that about a hundred times. Um, the vocals were stunning though. Lovely vocal fry throughout the song. His performance was very engaging and the whole thing was lovely like a big warm hug. So yeah, absolutely deserved to qualify. I didn't think it would. Shut my mouth. Okay, Slovenia unfortunately didn't qualify, but I actually like the song. It's a bit of a bop. I just felt that the song wasn't strong enough to stay in the competition, unfortunately. And also the vocals on the night were okay, but not the best. Uh, staging was quite nice with the disco ball in the centre uh, and overall a really nice chemistry between all of the performers. <laughs> So Ukraine, this was a really good performance. Uh, lots of energy on stage and it's that, that riff that's within it that just keeps you coming back to the song. I think that Ukraine are going to do pretty well. Um, the song is impressive uh, and I, I enjoyed the performance. I thought they did a good job. Every time I fall is now Bit of a shame for Bulgaria, but I said this from the very beginning, it's not the most exciting rock song ever. The staging was pretty good, they really went all out, but the song just wasn't strong enough to get them through, so unfortunately this one didn't qualify. What a shame. <laughs> This song has proper grown on me, the Netherlands. I wasn't sure initially, but it really has grown on me. I find myself singing it over and over after it's been on. Uh, her vocal performance was good. I would say it was about an 8 out of 10, but there were some moments where the support wasn't there. And I think, you know, you've got to be completely honest here. The nerves must be ridiculous ridiculous and just the energy and the adrenaline and all of that and the things you've got to remember which camera am I supposed to be looking at where am I supposed to be walking to all of that stuff it must be really really nerve-wracking so I think next time around she's probably going to be a bit more secure in the vocals and a little bit more confident with them <laughs> I don't like this one. You guys know I don't like it. It's just... Uh, but maybe we want the party atmosphere this year. Maybe that's what we're going for. It qualified. Bit of a surprise to me. Although a lot of you guys said you know it's going to qualify, don't you? You just know. So yeah, it qualified. So we're going to have to listen to it again in the grand final. think that might be my cup of tea moment. Maybe. <laughs> Stunning song. I think the way it was staged and the general performance from all of the female vocals were really good. I think the verses are weak though. They don't really grab me at all. It's only the chorus that actually makes me want to come back and listen to it again. So I don't see this one winning, unfortunately, Portugal. Sorry. But um, I don't think the song is strong enough in the verses to really carry it through. I'm with him and you're a secret treasure. Now, this is a really pretty song. I didn't understand the costume designs. I, 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 I don't know. I just... But the vocals on the night were pretty good. She had her hair done. Not that no one's having her hair done, but it was definitely shorter. I'm sure it was longer the last time I saw her. Um, I just, I don't know, it just got lost this one in so many songs. I kind of thought it would stay in the competition. So it's a bit of a shame that this one's gone. But for me, the real travesties is Albania and Austria. Why did they go home? You can't 
Good track this one, but I just don't think people got it. Um, I enjoyed it. I didn't like the beginning section where it was sat down at the piano, although she did sing it a lot better this time than the first time I heard it. Um, I think he should have just gone up tempo the entire time. I didn't get that. Let's move from piano to stood up anyway um unfortunately this one didn't qualify uh, i actually thought it might um but yeah yeah it's a shame you know everyone can't go through that's the thing that's the thing you can only have so many oh. Okay, so this one, yeah, unfortunate. I actually thought this one would go through. It's a really good bop. But her live vocals, yeah, they're not great. She was flat, out of tune. There was one moment where she did a really long sort of sustained note and it was so not good. E no, no. So I think that might be why they didn't qualify. That live performance... Not the best, but the song is great. So, yes, yeah, sometimes that stage performance can make a big difference. And in this case, her vocals just didn't stand up enough to keep it in the competition. Now, this is really pretty. The vocals were lovely on the night. A little bit cheesy, but it is, you know, Eurovision. I just thought it was a bit too sleepy to actually qualify. So I was quite surprised that this one qualified. But, you know, I, it won't win. It won't. It'll come somewhere in the top 25. <laughs> I can't see this one winning at all. Anyway, let's move on. really raw really natural it wasn't very polished i've got to say there were some notes that weren't entirely bob on but there's just something about this song and something about her this just i don't know there's an overall feel and energy and this one i think is going to do really well this is in my top five i think she could do with polishing those vocals up for the final but well deserved to stay in the competition I love this now. I really wasn't keen at the beginning, but it's proper grown on me. I was dancing around my front room last night with a tub of ice cream while listening to the song. It's great. The staging was great. I love the text, the graphics. I thought it had good resemblance to the original video. The performances were really good. I didn't understand the boot difference. Did you notice that? There's two female dancers that had yellow boots. And then I think there must have been a male dancer in the middle with a white pump. I would have just got white pumps for all of them. And that didn't make sense to me. As a Not that I'm a stylist. <laughs> anyway, well-deserved to stay in the competition. Well done to Armenia. I didn't see this qualifying. I really didn't. Uh, I thought the stage <laughs> performance was a little bit messy, the way they're ripping all these things off the walls. Although it was quite cute about the way she goes through this circle at the very end, although it didn't work first time, pulling the thing off so she could get through. Vocals, not all that great. So they, they were a little bit ropey in places. So I think there's some polishing to do for the grand final. I didn't think this would qualify, if I'm honest. So I think they are going to have to pull out all the stops for the grand final so let's do an overall recap my three unfortunate worst vocals of the night was albania there's some really yeah, bits that didn't that just ah, yeah some of those high notes not really well supported not mixed properly uh, also armenia just seemed unstable it didn't seem to have the the right breath support uh, but she is very young so <laughs> Also, Austria, unfortunately, her vocal really was probably the weakest of the night. You could definitely tell that there was a vocal underneath on the backing track that was trying to keep her in tune because her vocals weren't that great. That was probably the worst vocal of the night, unfortunate. Also, weak uh, vocal from the boys, the Slovenia LPSD disco. Ah, 
they were all right, but not all the best. So, the shock ones for me, just to recap, I actually thought Albania did enough to get through and Austria, but I think with Albania, it may have been the vocals, I don't know, it may have been the fact that it was too broken up was the song and also Austria it was that live performance the vocals it, unfortunate I don't know if that was what it was that swung it because the song is actually quite a bop gotta be a hella oh it's great it's a good song didn't quite get why that didn't qualify oh I can't wait for the second semi-final I think the second semi may be stronger than the first I do hope so because this year doesn't feel as strong as last year for me at this moment in time but we haven't got to the second semi-final and we definitely haven't got to the actual final yet um so yeah let me know what you think which were your favorites of the night which ones did you think deserved to go home let me know in the comments below and i will see you back with a recap on friday bye loves